Yes! How's it going everybody? Welcome back. I'm Dusty Mac and thanks for joining me again on my TV reaction series tonight. We are watching the season finale of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. This one is season one, episode six. It's called One World, One People. Last time on The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we had Cap and Bucky face off against Walker and they just kicked his ass. Bucky was holding him down and Falcon was boosting with his, uh, his broken wings and they just fucking snapped his arm back. But gotta give it up to walker he still had some fight in him after that he kind of went toe to toe a little bit but then he ended up getting just thrown around and just beat up but then as we saw at the after credit scene he was building his own captain america shield it's made out of steel dude it's not going to do anything it's probably not even going to bounce back to you like the other shield because i was actually watching like a video about the like the physics of the shield and i guess vibranium is supposed to be like super light and super strong and bouncing and shit and that's why the physics seems off <laughs> it's just because it is it's just a a made-up alloy. But this one I'm anticipating Walker is 100% healed that he was building a shield so he was like using blacksmith tools and stuff. So I'm thinking he's gonna come back. Maybe he's gonna have a new suit. I don't know. Maybe he's gonna have a different name. I don't know. I, I don't know what to expect with this but it's called One World One People so I'm assuming the Flag Smashers are gonna make a big play in this episode and I'm excited to see it. So if you like this reaction please hit that like button and subscribe and hit that little bell in the corner because it tells you when my next video comes out usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Plus I got some streams thrown in all willy-nilly. So yeah it's 3 30 in the morning and and I'm really tired, but I'm also really excited to watch this. So without any further ado, let's just get right into the Falcon and the Winter Soldier Season 1, Episode 6, the season finale. It's called One World, One People. Let's do it. I'm almost there. Oh shit, new Sam Wings? Sergeant Barnes. Sergeant Barnes? <laughs> I called in some backup. It's me. You out here, Sharon? Unfortunately. You're risking a lot coming here. I hear pardons aren't all they're cracked up to be anyway. Depends on the therapist. <laughs> What is the colors, man? What are you gonna look like, Sam? Oh! <laughs> yes! Fuck! I'm sorry, wait. Who are you? Captain America. Yes, you Captain fucking are! Oh, shit. You cost me a lot of money. I don't even know who you are. I wonder how much I can get for your new bird costume. Maybe a baguette? <laughs> I'm fighting for something bigger than myself. Have you ever been able to say the same? That's all I ever tried to do, and I failed twice. <laughs> That's one way to get rid of all the world's problems. <laughs> I think your cause justifies all this death, but in the end, the nightmares won't go away. You're gonna remember all the ones you killed. Trust me. Oh my, I didn't see you, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Well, that's one down. Mercury vapor, amongst other things. <laughs> yes! Oh! Au revoir. Moving to the rendezvous. Fucking beautiful. God damn. Red Wing, see if anyone in there has flight training. Yeah, Red Wing's back, baby! Go Wings! We killed the hostages. We're supposed to use them to negotiate. To stop that vote. Either way, our message gets out to the world. One world. One world. One people. One people. One people. Ah, a little descent there from her minions, huh? Oh, shit. Damn, I didn't know it could do that. Oh, that was fucking dope. <laughs> yes! Yes, Cap! <laughs> God damn. We need a diversion. Light it up. Morgan Oh, Jesus. Let's finish this. I didn't mean to kill your friend. I don't want to hurt people that don't matter. You don't think Lamar's life matters? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just fucking steel. Oh, he put it on the inside to, like, remind him or something. God damn. Oh shit. 
<laughs> that arm is so fucking useful. A little birdie told me you know how to fly a helicopter. Boy, you just earned this ass whooping. <laughs> when we get to one, grab the control. Oh! Oh! <laughs> he did. She's not trained like Walker's trained. <laughs> Damn. Swinging those fucking steel beams like they're nothing. Are you actually gonna do the right thing for once? <laughs> that thing's torn to shit. Damn, it's like Jurassic Park. <laughs> yes, Cap, baby! Yes! Oh, that's such a good shot. No super soldier serum needed! Just a really strong jetpack. That's Captain America. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the fuck it is. Oh, Cap is here to fucking turn the tide. You of all people bought into that bullshit. I'm trying something different. Maybe you should do the same this way. <laughs> it's just it's awkward. Drop your weapon, Carly. When you came to Madripoor, you reminded me of a young me. I'm not interested in power or an empire. Come back and work for me again. We can make a difference. Without our super soldiers, how much power does a power broker already have? More than you. I'm done with these games. Tu devoir me payer quatre fois ce que tu me devais. I don't do blackmail. That was dumb, Sharon. What? So what's next, huh? Where does it end? Curly jumped! <laughs> Oh god! Oh my god! Stay down! No. I could do this all day. <laughs> the app says it's this way. Mercy bears richer fruit than strict justice. It's a great app. <laughs> Lincoln? Really? Great man. Great court. Not when you say it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. It's a nice shot too. He just has a good like silhouette about him in that suit. <laughs> Are you still going forward with resetting the borders? The terrorists only set us back a bit. You have to stop calling them terrorists. Your peacekeeping troops carrying weapons are forcing millions of people into settlements around the world. What do you think those people are going to call you? Labels, terrorists, refugee, thug. They're often used to get around the question why. Do you think it is fair for governments to have to support them? Yes. All the people who've been begging for you to feel how hard any given day is, now you know. How did it feel to be helpless? You're about to have the exact same impact. You just don't understand. I'm a black man carrying the stars and stripes. What don't I understand? Every time I pick this thing up, I know there are millions of people out there who are going to hate me for it. I feel it. The judgment. There's nothing I can do to change it. Yet I'm still here. No blonde hair or blue eyes. The only power I have is that I believe we can do better. You control the banks. Shit, you can move borders. <laughs> You can feed a million people with a phone call. Who's in the room with you when you're making those decisions? Is it the people you're going to impact? Or is it just more people like you? When you have finally got it exactly the way you want it, what are you going to do with the people like you? What a I fucking mean, speech. Girl, you've got to do better, Senator. 
Because if you don't, the next Carly will. They helped her defy the strongest governments in the world. You people have just as much power as an insane god or a misguided teenager. How are you going to use it? I was texting, and so all I heard was black guy in stars and stripes. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Cap. We got to get you to a hospital. She's not going to listen. One world, one people. I can definitely see a second season for Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Captain America and the Winter Soldier. Our friend Zemo kind of got the last laugh. What is he doing in there? Probably the helmet. Let's go! Now this is more like it. Uh -huh. It's the same, but black. Things are about to get weird. We're not gonna need a Captain America. We're gonna need a U.S. agent. <laughs> U.S. agent! Keep your phone, man. Will do, Val. Don't call me that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm not ready for this part. What are you doing here? I have to tell you something about your son. He was murdered. What? By the Winter Soldier. And that was me. Why? I didn't have a choice. You did the right thing. You really did. Come on, Black Falcon. You <laughs> need to learn some manners. He ain't a Falcon anymore, but he's still black. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you're special. Thank you. You ain't no Malcolm, or Martin, or <laughs> Mandela, but... No argument there. A black Captain America, huh? Damn right. Ain't gonna be easy, Sam. We built this country. I'm not gonna let anybody tell me I can't fight for it. Not after what everybody before me went through, including you. Shit. <laughs> I almost bought that. Something I want to show you. Now they'll never forget what you did for this country. Never. I fucking hate seeing old guys cry, man. Like, it just it gets to me for some reason. <laughs> this is too much of a good ending. Like, too much of a happy ending. Something has to happen. There's gotta be an after credit scene. Definitely an after credit scene. That was a fucking action packed episode. Like, the whole episode was basically like a fight. It's almost 422. The Carter name has always been synonymous with service and trust. We'd like to offer you a full pardon. I've been waiting to hear those words for a long time. There may be an opening in your old division. Is that something you'd be interested in? It would be my honor. Welcome home, Agent Carter. So she's gonna be like a spy in the government then. <laughs> yeah, she's got a plan. Start lining up our buyers. Super soldiers might be off the menu. We're about to have full access to government secrets, prototype weapons. Come on, Sharon. Should be something for everyone. And that's it, huh? So I'm waiting for my cat's litter box to do its thing. It's 419, it's almost 420. So I'm gonna smoke out with you guys, as I've been doing all episode long. So it's not really anything different. But it's 420, so it's time to smoke. Did it get your poops? Good job. Hey, it's 420. 420, spoke, we get high. All right, everybody, that was the season one finale of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That was season one, episode six, One World, One People. And holy fuck, what an episode. That was basically just like an action movie from start to finish. There was barely any downtime to talk. It was just like one thing happening after another. And we had everybody come back into the fray. We finally got to see what was inside of that suit that the Wakandans made for Sam. And it was the Captain America suit from the comics that I put up last time. Holy fuck, that looked amazing. In motion, it looked so good too. Like, cause sometimes you can see a suit and it looks good like just standing still. Kind of like the Michael Keaton Batman suit where it looks really good standing still. But if he tries to move, he just has to kind of move his entire body because it's like a solid piece of rubber. But this suit looks so good and it like it fit perfectly. It wasn't like too tight to the face or anything. It was just like a really well-made suit and intricate too. Like, holy shit. And then the coloring was really good on that. The eyes, everything. I, I love that suit. And from what I'm seeing from the after credit scene here, there's definitely going to be a season two of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I literally just looked at the screen. 
<laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. That's so fucking awesome. So there will be a season two of Captain America and the Winter Soldier. That was a nice little surprise right at the end for me. We had Walker kind of come back and he had that chance to run after Carly or save those politicians and he decided to save the politicians. Maybe this is him trying to revitalize his image. I mean, he was an honorable soldier at one time, but then the super soldier serum, I think, kind of messed with his mind. But at the end, we also saw that he's now the U.S. agent and I don't, I don't know anything about him, honestly, other than I know that he's kind of like, he's a villain, right? He's kind of like a, a Captain America mercenary kind of thing. What an episode. I mean, this the action in it was cinema worthy. I would have loved to see that in, on the big screen, all of it. It looked really good. It didn't look cheesy. The effects and all that, the flying, because there was a lot of flying in this, but everything looked really well done. Even the shield play. Then at the end, we also had Bucky kind of doing his immense trip, and he told the old guy, that he killed his son. That was hard, but it had to be done. And uh, let's just give it up for Anthony Mackie, because that, that, that monologue that he gave when he was talking to the senators and stuff about they can do better. They sit there and they make these decisions that impact these people that they never see or hear from. And it's just, they're so out of touch with what's actually going on. And he tried to talk down to him like, oh yeah, yeah, whatever, you don't understand what's going on. But he does, he lives in the world and he's, he travels the world helping these people. And these politicians are realistically, they're the bad guys and they, they can change their minds. And luckily it seemed like Sam got through to him because it sounded like the, the GRC, I think it's called. I think they started reversing a lot of their decisions. So Carly did kind of have an impact on Sam and the world, but she went about it the wrong way and she wasn't around to see the outcome of her actions. This show was fucking phenomenal. I had no expectations for it. I didn't see a single trailer coming into this because I wanted to come in as, as blind as possible just to enjoy it. And I, I'm glad I did it because I I loved it. Every episode had something amazing going on. It was hilarious. The cinematography was really well done. The the effects, the drama. <laughs> just I love bringing in the old characters like Zemo and that French dude. And then Sharon, it's always good seeing her. And I'm, I'm glad that she's going to have a bigger part, presumably in the, uh, the Captain America and the Winter Soldier season two. Also, I think one of my favorite parts was honestly just seeing Isaiah go to that museum and seeing his legacy immortalized as it should be and just him acknowledging Sam as Captain America it was beautifully wrapped up first season I loved it thank you so much for making this show you need more of this this is just a perfect show a perfect way to extend the MCU without having to just wait for these these movies we get so much more of these characters and this is how it should be done from here on out I think anyway guys what did you think of this episode and what did you think of Captain America and the Winter Soldier let me know in the comment box down below and that costume what do you think of that fucking costume because oh my god anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you guys like this reaction please drop me a like and subscribe and hit that little bell in the corner because it tells you when my next video comes out usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with some streams and other bonus videos thrown in all willy-nilly whenever I get time to do it. So thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you're going to go outside, wear a mask, don't be an ass, and I will see you next time with Marvel Studios Presents Loki. Take it easy, guys. Boy, you just earned this ass whooping!